So we've seen different ways that you can create lists and do things like change the order of the items in the list, but what if we actually want to change the list itself by adding or removing or replacing items? Well, there are a set of um, methods and functions that we can use to do this. So again, here's our original list. If we want to just change a particular item on the list, we can simply assign a new value to it just by um, putting it into the numbered slot. Also, if we want to add another item to the end of the list, we can use the append method. So the append method does not produce any return value. So like some of the other methods, list methods we saw, it actually changes the list itself. So if we run the append method on the basket list, then whatever item we put in as the argument of the method is what gets added onto the end of the list. There are several other uh, commands for editing lists. One of the interesting things is that you can create an empty list by simply um, putting square brackets with nothing inside of them. Now, it may seem a bit odd to create an empty list. Why would you want to do that? Well, just stick this in the back of your mind because we'll see an example later where it's very useful to start off with a list that's empty. If we want to remove a particular value by naming it, we can use the dot remove method. And the argument that you put in the dot remove method is the value that you want to remove from the list. If we want to remove an item by its position, then we actually issue a command called delete or DEL. And then we state which of the list numbered list items it is that we want to delete from the list. And finally, the plus operator will take one list and append its items to the end of another list. So the second list items get added to the end of the first list. So we see this is actually a third use now for the plus sign in Python. Let's go ahead and try some of these things out. So here's our list. After I do each one of these operations, I'm going to print out what the list looks like so we can see how it changes. So here's our original list. Now, if we take item number one, which is orange, and replace it with tangerine, we see that the list is the same except for tangerine. If we want to remove banana, we can remove it by name. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we see that our list has four items on it instead of five. And then if we want to add durian onto the end of the list, we can do that. Now we see that it's been added to the end. If I want to delete the item that is in the zeroth position, which would be apple, I can use this syntax here and I see apple is gone. And then if I create a second list called lunch bag and, and uh, put these two items in it, then if I say lunch bag plus basket, it's going to take the lunch bag list items and then add each one of these items here to the end of it. So let's go ahead and try that. And there we see that these items here did get added to the end of these items.